California, Ms. Spear. The gentlelady is recognized. I thank the chairman and I thank uh, the gentleman from Rhode Island. One of our most solemn duties in Congress is dealing with emerging national security threats. We eliminated bin Laden. We're making progress in weakening ISIL. And unfortunately, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have alerted us to a new threat emerging deep in the heart of the Western United States, a sort of feathery sleeper cell that just can't wait to disrupt our way of life. What is inspiring so much fear? The lesser prairie chicken. Listening to this debate, you'd think that the lesser prairie chicken was single-handedly providing aid and comfort to the enemy, not just living on the prairie and doing the occasional little dance, but as with its unfortunate relative, the greater sage grouse, my colleagues across the aisle are trying to use the NDAA to do a little dance of their own around the science of the Endangered Species Act. The prairie chicken has not attacked our citizens, threatened our allies, disrupted our military operations. Listing the prairie chicken as endangered is a scientific decision not within the purview of Congress and well, will have absolutely no effect on the Department of Defense operations. The worst that anyone can say about the prairie chicken is that it is really not a chicken, but a grouse. This amendment has no place in the NDAA, and I urge my colleagues to oppose it. Gentlelady yields back. Gentleman from Oklahoma is recognized. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to yield one minute to a lady from the great state of Kansas where they're working very diligently.